Hi everybody, welcome to this month's calligraphy techniques video. Today I'm going to show you how to add some illustrations to your calligraphy. Let's see what you'll need. So as always, you're going to need a pencil. For this project, I'm also going to be using a calligraphy marker and some colored pencils. And today I'm going to be using mixed media paper as well. So now that you have all your supplies together, let's get started. So I'm going to first start this calligraphy by drawing out the illustration. I'm making sure to keep my pencil lines very light so that they can be easily erased. Now I'm erasing all the pencil lines so that when I go in with the marker, they won't be visible. Now I'm going in with the thin side of my calligraphy marker and I'm going to trace out the illustration that I made before. Now I'm going in with calligraphy and adding the word sweet in regular cursive. I'm going back and thickening up any of the downward strokes as well. Now I'm turning my paper and I'm going to start writing out the word summertime. I'm going to be using a different font for this one. Now I'm just adding some seeds to my watermelon. And now I'm going to start going in with my colored pencils. So you can see that I'm holding the pencil a little bit down farther towards the end of the pencil so that I have lighter pressure and it's easier to blend the lighter color on top. Now that I'm using the lighter color, I want a little bit more color payoff, so I'm holding it more towards the tip of the pencil.
Holding the pencil closer to the tip will give you a harder line and more color payoff. And holding it towards the end will give you a lighter line and make it easier to blend with other colors. Now I'm filling in the summertime font with some red. You can see that I'm holding the pencil really close to the front and that's so that I can make it really, really dark red. Now I'm going in with a light peachy pink to start doing the watermelon. Now I'm going in with a light pink color and blending the peachy pink and the pink color together. Now you can see I'm going back in with the peachy pink color for a second just to try to make it blend a little more. And now I'm going in with the red, holding the pencil farther down towards the bottom to make sure that I get a light color payoff. I don't want this red to be as intense as it is in the font, and I want it to be a little bit pinker, so I'm making sure to use light pressure while holding the pencil this way. I'm going back in with the pink to make it blend a little bit nicer. I tried to erase the little mistake that I had here, but it doesn't fully erase. But then you're all done with the first one. So let's try another one. I'm starting this one the same way that I always start, by starting with the sketch first. This one's gonna be an ice cream cone, so I start by making the three scoops of ice cream. Then I add in the cone, and then I decide that I kinda want the ice cream to be a little bit higher, so I go back and adjust that. Here I'm just writing out a little bit of the calligraphy to make sure that it fits the way that I want it to. Now I'm going in with my calligraphy marker again, and I'm outlining everything that I just drew. Now I'm starting by adding a little bit of calligraphy above the first scoop of ice cream. Put a little line there to make sure that they would line up evenly on each side. Next I'm going in with a cursive font to write we all in the first scoop. 
Again, I'm gonna go in and make sure that the downward strokes are a little bit thicker. Next, I'm gonna be writing the word scream in kind of a printing font that's all capital. You can see it's a little bit over to one side. To avoid it going to one side on your own calligraphy, make sure to use a pencil and trace that. Next, I'm going in with the word ice cream, and I'm writing a little bit bigger. And then instead of making my downward stroke directly next to the, the original stroke, I'm gonna make it a little bit farther to the side. This is gonna give me a little gap. Now inside the gap, I'm gonna make little horizontal lines to try to make it look a little bit more interesting. You can also see here that I accidentally dragged down some of the marker and made it smudge. I would suggest that if you're going to do this as well, to first either let your calligraphy dry completely before moving on to the next element, or place a paper down so that you don't rub your hand back and forth over the markers. Now I'm going in with my red pencil again, holding it a little bit farther down to make it a light pink color. I'm adding this to all the edges of the first scoop of ice cream to try to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Now I'm going in with the pink and I'm gonna color in the whole entire scoop of ice cream with this color. Next, I'm gonna go in with a dark green, and again, I'm gonna use light pressure and go all around the edges of the second scoop of ice cream. Next, I'm going in with a light green, and I'm filling in the entire scoop with this color as well. And now finally on the last scoop, I'm going to be taking the dark blue and I'm going to go all around the edges again. Now I'm going in with a light blue and filling in this scoop of ice cream. Colored pencils are such a nice medium because they're very user-friendly and they're easily available at any store. It takes a little bit of practice to, to perfect holding the pencil a little bit farther back, but once you get the knack of it, it can really improve your shading. So now I'm adding some brown to the comb and then going in with a crisscross pattern to make the design on the cone. Here I'm just adding a little bit more shading. 
and then you're all done with the final one. Thanks for watching this month's calligraphy techniques video. Just remember that even if your calligraphy doesn't turn out perfectly, that that's totally okay. If you have little smudges with your markers, or if you go a little bit outside the lines, that just shows that you're practicing and you're improving. So be sure not to be discouraged if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to look on your first try. I hope you were able to learn a little bit about shading with colored pencils and got some ideas on how to add some illustrations to your own calligraphy. Be sure to join us next time for some more fun and inspiration.